Does ADHD provide an advantage? We often think of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, as a condition that prevents people from performing at their best. But what if ADHD, when managed properly, could actually provide a competitive advantage? Increasingly, studies show that ADHD symptoms are a valuable trait possessed by entrepreneurs specifically. Want proof? Take a look at billionaire Sir Richard Branson, who speaks openly about how his ADHD diagnosis helps fuel his success. In fact, researchers say that entrepreneurs with ADHD show strength in creativity, grit, and perseverance, just to name a few benefits. To better understand the emerging science of ADHD and entrepreneurship, be sure to watch this video until the end to make sure you gain all valuable insights shared and click the like button to show your appreciation for interesting videos like this one. While some studies link drinking and smoking during pregnancy to ADHD in children, the biggest factor by far in determining your ADHD risk is your genes. And not just any genes. Most genes associated with ADHD connect to the brain's reward pathways. So people with ADHD have lower levels of dopamine receptors, aka the feel-good hormone. This means they find it more difficult to feel satisfied or happy with what they're doing. For example, while their friends may be content to sit quietly and read a book, this will easily bore children afflicted by ADHD. Further evidence of how ADHD affects a person's brain is observed by monitoring related activity via an fMRI machine. Usually, when the human brain is at rest, you will see activity in the, in the default mode network. Then, when it's time to switch on again and get stuff done, activity quickly transfers over to the task-focused network to achieve better focus. Oddly enough, in the brains of people with ADHD, this neat switching process doesn't actually work the way it's supposed to. When people with ADHD try to shift from rest to focus, their brain won't know which network to switch on. fMRI scans show activity in both the default mode network and task-focused network while they're trying to focus and accomplish their tasks. Not great. Scientists also find that due to structural changes in the brains of people with ADHD, they also struggle with things like attention control, emotional regulation, and response inhibition as explained by the boys from ASAP Science. So, that's the bad news. But how can ADHD provide someone with an advantage? Studies suggest that when it comes to our ancient ancestors, their short attention span and tendency to stay in motion would have translated to a higher level of resources, meaning greater success in the reproducing and passing on your genes game. But what about now? When studying settled and nomadic members of the Arial tribe of Kenya, Researchers discovered that nomads with a greater number of genes linked to ADHD were better at hunting food than their peers. And when it comes to creative pursuits, studies also show that people with ADHD tend to be more creative in both controlled experiments and real-life scenarios, as their brains are more susceptible to random, out-of-the-box thoughts. On top of that, while ADHD might negatively impact kids trying to fit into structured school and university routines, studies show that in adulthood, some careers are better suited to high-energy people. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has added insight to your current knowledge about ADHD. For more valuable videos in the future, be sure to stay connected with us by sharing this video with your loved ones and clicking the bell icon for timely updates.